Here we got a 64 Ford Falcon. This is like, I think the first year they had like this square style. Um, and it's got something in it. It's very different. It's a 427 Cobra engine. The 427 Cobra is one badass motor, man. He stuffed it in this thing. God, I don't know how they did it. <laughs> and this thing wouldn't have air conditioning because I don't know where you would put it, man. <laughs> Serpentine belt system. Right here is all tucked away with the, I don't know how, this thing, electric fan, MSD ignition. This is your, this is your steel me junction box right there. Willwood brakes. It's like manual brakes. Light car though, light car. Willwood brakes, disc all around, I'm assuming. Um, like how this red stripe is in there with the black, it looks very nice. Spin-offs, you know, mag wheels. Got a racing bucket seats with the full harness in it. Manual transmission, probably a four, five speed, probably five speed. Got your vent windows. I love those vent windows, man. You don't need air conditioning with vent windows. And uh, he's got the blacked out bumpers. Goes great with the silver. And uh, you know that reddish orange stripe insert. And um, blacked out chrome on his side. Goes well. Those three colors, like the orange red with the black and the silver. Nice stance on it. Exhaust comes out right in front of the wheel. Falcon. Futura, Futura. Falcon Futura. Basically, this was the, you know, when it had the 64 Mustang, this was the 64 Mustang with a different body style on it. Basically, it's, it's all, it was a Falcon with a different body style on it until initially, initially. So, it's a fast car, man, for big 427 in this thing. I can't imagine how fast this car would be because of, uh, a friend of mine put a 351 Windsor in a 66 Mustang, and that car was so light, that 351 Windsor would, that car was fast with that engine in it. This has got a 427 Cobra jet, which is in a light years different, with more power. I just can't imagine how fast this car would be. I mean, you couldn't put enough tire under this car to make it hook up right or something, I think. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I mean... Well, there's a whole science behind that with the geometry and all that, you know. And you, oh, I should mention this. You know, when they tell you these statistics about what the car did way back in the day with so much horsepower, they were talking this, the bias ply skinny tires that came from the, on the car from the factory. If they would have just put modern slicks on it or racing tires. They would have dropped at least a second off of the quarter mile times that you're seeing. Plus, those cars were never left stock in the first place. That's why they were muscle cars. All that stuff you see on YouTube about them telling you, uh, yo, this car did, I don't know. I mean, a, a fast car from the factory back then was like 14.1 seconds or something. Maybe a 13, 13s. They're talking with the bias plies tires. The little skinny tires that came with the car, nobody kept those tires. And nobody kept the car stock, even. They were like a lot, I don't know what they would be, but there was a lot of cars that were on the street that were running 12s, a lot. That's why it was the muscle car era. They're never telling you that on these car videos on YouTube, ever. I mean, maybe a couple people are, but generally speaking, there's at least some guy that never was around at that time, and then he's just taking things off of you know, uh, I don't know, of the internet or something, he's putting some glossy stuff on his video. He's never telling you really what happened. Because those cars would run way faster when as soon as they put the tires on it, just a couple little mo just the tires alone. Cheater slicks was the deal back then. And it was the big tires back then, the really big tires were the L60 15s, Mickey Thompson, big ones. You had to jack the car up to get him under the frame.